back to the channel, welcome to a new video. I'm not sure what it's like where you are, but here, just outside Glasgow, it's very, very cold. It's a little bit windy as well, so hopefully throughout this video, you'll be able to hear me okay. What I'm going to do is fit some mudguards to the, the Boardman URB 8.8. This is a 2021 model. I did upload a video with my first impressions, uh, which you can go and look at if you'd like to do so, but in this one we're going to put some mudguards onto the bike. Let's take a look at the mudguards. So these are the mudguards that I've picked up. They are Bontrager NCS. There we are. And I've gone for the 28-35. Now it could have been a little bit bigger. I've got 32 mil tyres on this bike, so I don't know. Maybe I've got some tyres uh, as here. Yeah, this is what I'm going to fit. So I've got the mudguards. Got some baby wipes because the bike's a little bit dirty so where it makes friction with the frame i'll give it a wee wipe uh, these are the fittings that came with it and i got these as well these are just some rubber washers i'm just going to put them over the actual mounts on the bike itself so that these don't uh, rub the paint off the the frame where the mounts are you don't have to do that that's just something that i would like to do the reason i bought these ones i'd watched a few reviews on them um, and they looked pretty good but the main thing that, that i liked was this bit here um, so, you know, I fitted mudguards before and it was a real pain in the neck. Um, they were SKS Como plastic ones. And what you had to do is you have to kind of cut the stay, you had to kind of measure the stay from the mount of the bike and cut it to size and then feed it through and put a cap on it. It was a real faff. I'm, I'm sure if you're doing it all the time, it'd be much easier. Um, but yeah, I've actually got some snow falling down off, you can see that in the camera there. Um, so, yeah, it was a real fat fit in those. So this thing here doesn't look as nice. It, you know, I think this could look a little bit better, but this looks super convenient and it should make fitting these a little bit easier. So we'll go ahead and do that. Now the one thing that they didn't tell me when I bought this bike was how you get the wheel off. Um, obviously, it's, it's got the belt on and, and the belts. It's, it's got you know quite a bit of tension on it there as well. Um, so I'll need to kind of try and figure that out. I'm assuming. This is the this is part of the hub. So this is a cable that comes from the shifter. So I'm assuming this cable has to get disconnected somehow. Take a look at that. So that cable will need to come off. And yeah, I don't know. Maybe you just loosen these things and the whole thing drops out. I think that might be what has to happen here. I think we disconnect that cable, loosen those, and we'll try and drop the wheel out. And we'll see because we have to get access to that point in there. You see the point there. I don't know if it's focusing. You can see the little black cap. I quite like the fact we've got these little black caps on there. That's a nice touch. Um, yes, yeah, so we need to get that black cap off. So there'll be one bit on there. One bit will go on here. This is for pannier racks. And then the, um, the, the cables will come up or the, the stays for the mudguards will come up here. For the front one, um, we've got a threaded part there. So um, there's one bit here and then it's inside the fork so we've got one bit there and then we've got one bit there as well on that one so there'll be one secured bit here and then one secure bit coming up here as well I'm going to do the front one first because it seems a little bit simpler I should have said, on the back of the packaging for the mudguards are the instructions to fit them. They are pretty self-explanatory, but if you've not done this before, it kind of gives you an idea as to what you need to do with the clips and where they put them and where they should be mounted, and, uh, and what threads to use as well. So, um, yeah, let's crack on. So what I've done here is I've put the, the screw through the, the washer, through the mount, and I've put a little rubber washer on the other side. That rubber washer isn't something you need, but it's just something that I'm going to put on there so that we're not putting metal to the, the actual frame of the bike itself. That's just a small thing that I'm doing. It's maybe a little bit over the top. Okay, that's 
seems to hold just now. What we're going to do, same thing again, we're going to put these two right in front of here as well. Show you a little bit closer so we've got this one up here at the top and then we have these ones at the side and i'll show you from this angle we can see it a little bit better here so we've got one in there one in there so i'm just going to go and tighten those up now Now the process of getting this back wheel off is actually fairly straightforward. Along here you can see the shifter keel, it comes up and it routes around into this bit here. In essence what we want to do is pull this a little bit out and that then disconnects the cable from the hub itself. To do that we put something small in here, I'm using a small allen key because I'm fitting the mud guards. Put that in and then we can adjust this, this is on a spring. We can adjust this here and then we can pull that little bit out. The mains was a little bit stiff, needed some persuasion by a screwdriver. So you can just pop that out there like that. And that's the shifter cable free of the hub itself. I think we also have to take this little bit of cable out here because this black part I think is also part of the hub. So just as a precaution, we'll just take that off as well. Just because I'm pulling this out here. This will remain on the bike. I think this is going to come off with the uh, with the hub. Now I'm going to remove these. Now I think it's a 15 mil spanner, but I can't find the spanner, so I'm using this old rusty wrench. wasn't too bad yeah so as I thought the uh, this kind of guide part here for the, the shifter cable is part of the hub so you do want to pull this little bit out here as well so just like the last time I'm just going to take a wipe and clean up the areas where we're going to mount the stays and the fittings I would normally give this a clean wash down with a hose, but I think it is zero degrees today. As you can see, it's snowing, it's windy. Yeah, 
don't really want to be um, I don't really want to be digging the hose out giving the bike a clean in this weather so I'll just clean the areas that I need to clean for now while I look at this wheel off I'll just show you this split in the frame we'd get a better look at that so you can imagine replacing the belt we've got a split in the frame there so we would really see these two here and you can see exactly where the frame would open up to allow us to get the belt in the first part I'm going to stick on is this bit here so just like before we've got the, the screw with the washer and I'm just going to put that little rubber washer on the other side this one's got a little nut on the other end that screws in so just a piece of thing through here So I'll just put that one in there for now. Take the lug guard itself. So there. And then this will screw into the see what all is going on here. So these are going to screw in there. This clip here. actually see this mud guard has two holes at that end I'm not actually too sure if I need the lower one or the upper one so I've used the upper one just now um, but we might have to adjust that later wheels back on, need to do a little bit of adjustment with this one here but uh, before we do that I want to hook up this uh, shifter again just to make sure it's going through the gears okay okay, I'm happy that's shifting through all the gears now Let's get this adjusted. I'm going to adjust this top one first. I've got an 8mm spanner here that I'm going to use to hold the nut on the other end. Then we'll tighten that up. Okay, that's nice and tight up there now. Nice and tight down there. Just need to get the position of these ones right. a little spin round about and we'll make sure it's all good. So the mud guards are fitted and I think well I don't think mud guards ever look good in a bike but I think they look as as good as they're going to on any bike. So the mud guards are fitted. I've been a short cycle around about the, uh, the area and there's no rubbing or friction, even over some bumpy surfaces there's no rattling everything seems nice and tight and it's all buttoned up pretty good I need to change that saddle, that saddle is horrible even just riding around about here after the 15 miles yesterday it's, it's really sore so I'm going to change that saddle out today to the, the spoon charge that I've got there I'll fit that bottle holder as well I've made a really big mistake though and uh, and I think I should share it with you as I don't know maybe as a warning to some other people that 
might be doing the same thing here. When I was out doing that test run, the shifter cable came off, the shifter stopped working altogether. And what I've done is, if you remember in the video, I used a screwdriver to lever this little bit out. Now, I had to use a screwdriver to lever it out. I tried wiggling it, I tried pulling it. It wasn't coming out at all um, without using that screwdriver. And as a result, I've broken a little bit off. I'm not sure if you can see it in the video. Yeah, you can. So, just in the middle of the frame there, there's something must have been there. I'll go back and look at the footage. And if I have a picture or a video, I'll put it in. But something would have been there to hold this in place. And as I've shifted through when I was riding, that's came out. And in essence, it stopped the shifter working altogether. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I can see a couple of screws there. I don't know if you can see that as well. So you can see a couple of screws. So I'm not sure if that's a serviceable part, that simple plastic clip that can be replaced. But yeah, I'm going to have to speak to Halfords and see what we can do about getting a, another one of those. Which is a bit of a bummer. It's put me in a, bit, a, little, a little bit of a bad mood now because it's, one, it's like that, and two, it's stopping me taking the bike out for a ride, which I've been looking forward to all week. Um, so yeah, th these things happen. I'll go ahead and get that saddle changed and that bottle cage on and get the bike ready and then we'll see what we can do about that. So there you go folks, you win some, you lose some, got the mud guards on, got the bottle cage on, saddle changed over, bike's almost ready to go, still need to change the pedals, but now I can't change gears, what a mistake that was, and hopefully not too much of an expensive lesson learned, I'm hoping that that little bit of the, the hub can be replaced with just taking those two screws out, I'll go speak to Halfords first of all and see what they say, uh, if not it's going to be an expensive one, but in terms of fitting the mud guards, hopefully this video was helpful for you, um, and yeah, hopefully I'll see you in the next one.